Hi guys, it's uh, Dead Space Grave here, and I haven't done a video in a long time because, you know, as you can see, I've been working. And um, I'm gonna do a little review. Um, I guess it's almost like a three-part thing, and um, I naturally or occasionally smoke like these uh, clove type of ciggies. I'm gonna call them ciggies because they're labeled cigars, but they look like cigarettes. And if y'all guys are familiar with the brand, um, it's called Di it's printed it's spelled Dijarum, but it's actually pronunciated as Jarum without the D because the D is silent. So um, I went out to the uh, the smoke shop, which is um, it's one of my little parts of the three review, and um, it's called a uh, Finick Cigars. So if you live in San Antonio, this is how it's spelled F I N C K. Because I don't know if it's backwards on the camera. And um, they're located off of 3111 Broadway. And um, they're really good cigar, cigar shop. They do have a large size humidor for the regular cigars. And they do sell these jar rooms there, like these behind the counter. And um, that's the two different packs I have is the Special, which I never tried, but and then the Emeralds, which I have tried. And I like the Emeralds because they do have decent menthol in them. And as far as this the Nick cigars, um, their customer service is really good. Like, if you have a question, I, like, even with me being a novice, you know, smoker, I guess, as you call it, even beginning with the, you know, a beginner with the full-size standard cigars, the ones you don't inhale, you retrohale them. And, um, they were pretty spot on. I wanted something to pair with coffee, and they knew exactly what this, they could suggest to me. You know, I don't know the, uh, two type of brands. There's two different ones they recommended on the full-size cigars, but... I guess next time when I go shopping or something, maybe by myself, I'll do a quick video about what I get next time. It might be like this weekend or something. But, um, as for my review, um, I guess I'll try these specials first because, um, I already know how the emeralds taste. They do have, like, decent, uh, like, menthol in them. This is the package. It's really nice. Um, these are the U.S manufacturer ones because the original ones made from the original factory will have like these weird creepy like anti-smoking campaign image on them but um this one here is the one i will be reviewing it looks like um i've seen some people on youtube and you know they were you know um veteran smokers i'm not really a big time one myself so uh as far as the package goes it looks pretty nice it's got you know the red labeling and then it says the word special on it and when I asked the smoke shop about if anybody had tried these there about what they think of this one is that they said it's like a smooth version of the black one, the Dijarum black, or Jarum since I'm pronouncing it wrong. But they said it's like a smoother, less strong version of the Black Label series, which is the bold, full flavor one. So opening this, um, our Jarums have like a, uh, and they actually have a scan for amazing savings. So I guess they have like a coupon thing now. It's pretty cool. It says on the back, take the journey. Some type of cool advertisement. But right away when opening the package, I get a huge smell of the clove. And it's like a sweet, robust flavor, like taste. And um, they have the original aluminum gold wrapper on it. And um, one time I almost ripped out all of the uh, all of the ciggies out of my box and I did on the emerald package because uh, it almost pulled out every single Siggy of mine that I was gonna, you know, unbox last time. So just be careful when pulling the aluminum wrapper. Sometimes you might yank the whole entire package out. But um, these are pretty cool. They're like natural color. Really strong smell of clove. Smells really sweet, and it looks packed pretty well. I don't know if my camera can focus or not, but um. It's a natural brown paper, it almost looks like a, and you only get the same amount, 12 in these, but I, I paid like seven bucks over at Phoenix Cigars, which is not a big deal. I mean, you you would be paying more if you bought it cheaper online because you had to pay shipping. So, it, I mean, I guess kind of cost compare. I mean, it's probably better if you're buying like one or two of these versus if you're buying a bulk pack, then of course I would suggest ordering online to save you some money. But um, this one, it looks pretty cool. It's got the filter on the end of it. And it looks like natural color. And it has the uh, Jarum label in gold. 
over the little gold ring right there and um i definitely smell really good clove scents to it and it's, it's not heavy at all it feels like um like a natural tobacco paper but not it's not an actual tobacco leaf and the filter it's not super hard so um it looks like a decent ciggy to me and the other part i'm reviewing is this thing it's called zobo it's off of amazon i bought it i don't know how well the camera shows it but it's zobo and it's a uh, cigarette filter system this is what it looks like and um, that's the one i got right there i think it was like 10 12 dollars and it's reusable comes with a little cleaning device extra gaskets and they actually gave me two sets of gaskets because it, it's a uh, you twist it off to clean it and i'll probably do a review video again of this one how to clean it so i'm pretty in interested on how much tar it's supposed to like trap you know with every cigarette you use and um it comes with the extra mouthpiece bezel which is pretty cool and see these are all the extra gaskets it comes with so it comes with like two four six seven eight nine so it comes with nine total and it has instructions here i'm pretty sure it's already like pre-set up already so i'm just gonna go over the directions real fast Let's see um it is recommended to clean the tar after smoking about five to ten cigarettes so you pretty much turn it clockwise and pull out the pipe and then swipe off the tar and um it gives you a comparison of pictures what it it will look like as it catches the tar and um for the people who don't don't remember the name is called zobo i don't know why the camera shows everything backwards but that's pretty cool and um what's cool about it is that you can actually use the, the tin case that they gave you to pack your cigarettes in so if, and even if you want to pack a lighter plus this thing so it's kind of like a whole to-go kit and it's aluminum so it's pretty nice they have different ones there so i was going to order a nice one that i saw Maybe coming up in a payday or two. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the little cigarette filter thing. Thing of my bob, I guess. It tastes sweet, too, when you are when you have the, uh, the special in your mouth. Definitely tastes clove from doing a dry hit. And I forgot my freaking butane lighter, so luckily my car has a car lighter, which it, it works, thank God. Otherwise I'd be screwed trying to dry hit on a Siggy all night while I'm working. But, uh, this looks pretty interesting. I'm guessing the, uh, cleaning mechanism is probably inside that so um i guess i'll go ahead and just light it these have never it looks like it only goes probably about a third in with the cigarette filter so i guess whenever you put this in there grab it from the filter because you don't want to damage the cigarette and it looks like it goes in probably about that much like like a third in, down the filter it looks really long like this long this is like uh two inches so of course the standard cigarette size you're looking at probably about a five six inch long cigarette or Siggy. And it's pretty cool. It almost looks like it has like leather on it. And it's nice. Got the little gold zo Zobo. So I guess uh, let me get this lit up. And then we'll see you know how it how it tastes. I do get a decent you know um, decent uh, suck out of this. So it doesn't feel too tight at all. All right. Tastes like a clean hit. I don't feel like a lot of throat irritation. I might have to relight this bitch again. 
It's probably gonna be super fucking hot, but it looks like it didn't light all the way. See like some, some burning clothes, some other ones aren't. There we go, it looks like it's lighting up a lot better. I definitely taste the uh it's not not too heavy at all the flavor is pretty good taste sweet I can I can actually taste the sweetness